Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. We are going to show how to use the new feature. Terrain Erosion. In the Terrain Painting panel, you'll now find the new Erosion option at the bottom. When enabled, it automatically applies natural erosion effects to your terrain. Erosion level determines the overall intensity of erosion effects. Higher values create more dramatic weathering. Erosion intensity adjusts the effect's transparency at the current level. Lower values produce subtler results. Erosion spread range controls the offset of the effect's bottom edge. Use this to fine tune the lower boundary of erosion. At the bottom, you'll find three color control options corresponding to ground, slope, and peak. As we know, the original terrain material also features these three types. Therefore, the three color parameters in the erosion panel precisely control these corresponding areas. For a more intuitive demonstration, we've set the three colors to red, yellow, and blue. Now you can clearly see which areas correspond to each parameter. Use the sliders on the right to independently control the erosion intensity for each specific region. Next, let's use this project as an example. In the paint section, we'll enable the erosion mask. At first, the effect won't be very noticeable. We'll start by increasing both the erosion level and intensity to appropriate values. Next, we'll modify the slope's erosion color, changing it from the default gray to a deep green while slightly reducing the blending effect. Moving to the ground erosion, we'll increase the blending effect while changing the color from white to a dark green. Finally, for the mountain peaks where we've placed rocks, we'll set the erosion color to dark brown and moderately decrease the blending intensity. All right, we can toggle the effect to compare the appearances before and after erosion. You will notice that adding erosion to the terrain introduces more details, making the environment appear more realistic. Diverse natural settings require unique erosion parameters, allowing everyone to fully utilize their ideas and creativity to craft lifelike natural scenes. Next, let's briefly discuss other optimizations related to terrain. New options for position and size have been added in the Manage panel. You can adjust the overall height of the terrain through the position setting. For instance, if you import your own model and find it conflicts with the terrain, you can resolve this issue by tweaking the position parameters. The size setting enables you to modify the editable area of the terrain. In version 2.10, we expanded this maximum area to eight by eight kilometers. Looking ahead, D5 will persist in advancing the terrain's upper limits. This feature enables you to instantly observe the terrain's height at the point where your mouse cursor is positioned during the sculpting process. A new option for angle has been introduced for the brush tool, enabling you to adjust the angle of brush strokes. The slope texture panel now includes a material rotation setting, simplifying the creation of stratum effects. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.